this is the Boss RC3 Loop Station full setup. I've got everything plugged in that can be plugged in. We're going to start over on the left. I've got my output A plugged into my Jensben Subtle Bass Amp and output B going into my Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. So I've got a guitar amp. Likewise, on the input A in the center, I've got my four string bass guitar and on my input B, I've got my Fender Strat. Up in the top one, I've got my memory chip plugged in. That is my Boss FS6 dual foot switch that performs some of the functions, but you need a stereo cable to do that. And I'll be covering that in another video. All right, so when we're playing this, this makes a lot of sense. What's in input A will go out output A, and what's in input B will go in input B. So I've got my guitar in my hand, my Strat. And we can hear the reverb on the amp there. It's a little bit high right now. Just wanted to make sure you could tell that was a guitar amp. So I'll turn that off, and when I play my bass guitar, my Ibanez Rose Star from the 80s. That's clearly not the same amp, so I don't need to go out and show you guys. This is an interesting feature. Here, you can see I have unplugged the Fender guitar. Now I just have the bass guitar plugged in, but I still have both of the outputs on. And now I get the output of both. That's one thing that I found that was funny about it. Obviously, if you unplug anything from a in input A, it's not going to work at all. On the other hand, when I unplug the output B, now I've got both instruments plugged in, you can see, and they're both going to be going out of the same amp, so they're both going to go to my Jens Ben Subtle. Put that down, pick up the guitar quick. That's an interesting feature about it, so you got to make sure you play around with it. 